a piece of work in 24, 6 and 12 days respectively. Working together they will complete the same work in how many days? Our options are given over here. Let us see the logic behind solving this question. The logic is we are given with 3 persons individual working capacity. Add each one of their one day work to find the total one day work done by all. And then you have to apply the formula to get total duration to finish work fully. Let us see how to apply this logic to solve the sum. We know that P, Q and R can complete a piece of work in 24, 6 and 12 days. That is, P's one day work will be 1 by 24 and Q's one day work will be 1 by 6, R's one day work will be 1 by 12. As we know that if P can do a piece of work in N days, then P's one day work will be 1 by N. So, you have the LCM for 24, 6 and 12 as 3 into 2 into 2. That gives you 24. Adding up the numerator values that is 1, 4 and 2 you get 7 by 24. So all three together will complete the job in 24 by 7 days. As we know that if P's one day work is 1 by N, then P can do the piece of work in N days. So one day work is 7 by 24. So in 24 by 7 days, they can complete the work. So our answer is option C. 24 by 7. These pattern of questions appear in bank, government, HCL and TCS exams. Let us see our next interesting question. It is given that X completes 80% of a work in 20 days. Then Y also joins X and Y together finish the remaining work in 3 days. So how long does it need for Y if he alone completes the work? So we have to find that how much time Y needs to complete the work all alone. Our options are given over here. Let us see the logic behind solving this question. We are given with two persons individual working capacity. You have to find X one day work from 20 days. Then we have to find X plus Y's one day work that is for 3 days and subtract 1 that is X one day work from X plus Y's one day work. That gives you the one day work that Y has done. So from the above findings we can derive the days of work required from Y. Let us see how to apply this logic to solve the question. Let us assume that the work is 100 in total. So the work done by X in 20 days will be nothing but 80 percentage of 100 that is 80 by 100 which can be written as on simplification 4 by 5. The work done by x in one day will be nothing but 4 by 5 divided by 20. So 4 by 5 into 20 is 100 which will be equal to 1 by 25 on simplification. So the work done by x in one day will be 1 by 25. Now we have to find the work done by 
y and x together in 3 days so they did the remaining work so remaining of 80 percentage is nothing but 20 percentage so 20 by 100 which is equivalent to 1 by 5 on simplification so the work done by x and y in one day will be nothing but 1 by 5 divided by 3 which is equal to 1 by 15 solving 1 and 2 we get the work done by y in one day to be 1 by 15 minus 1 by 25 we know that the work done by x in one day is 1 by 25 from our first conclusion so finding the difference we get the work done by y in one day to be 2 by 75 we know that if x does 1 by n work in a day then x can finish the work in n days so if y's one day work is 2 by 75 then y can finish the work alone in 75 by 2 days which can be written in mixed fraction as 37 and half days so 37 complete days and half day so our answer is option C 37 and half days thank you so much for joining